Hi guys. Um, wow, um, a real Bitcoin rally uh, has started. Um, today it's um, uh, the 4th of November and the price has soared to uh, $500. Now it's $480 on Bitstamp and uh, on Euros and Kraken it is $440. Um, and uh, BitX uh, $440. Uh, sorry euros um so uh but it's only in one month that it has gone up uh coming from um 200 uh, euros and 250 dollars uh, and now it's almost it's double uh, in dollars it's 500 close to 500 and in um euros uh, it was 200 and now it's 440 so it doubled um So what am I doing? Uh, I'm basically enjoying uh, watching and um, preparing, thinking about uh, buying altcoins, um, uh, NXT or something else. That's what I'm deciding since I already bought a lot of NXT. But altcoins are still in a strong bear market. Uh, in fiat they keep mostly their value but in bitcoin they are crashing um, uh, this was likely to happen as it always happened before at the start of a, a bitcoin bubble uh, until it goes to its old all-time high altcoins have a hard time as all the attention goes to bitcoin and um, the last week hands are selling liquidating their shit coins uh, and uh, and uh, go to bitcoin so that's what we're seeing now, um, but the if history repeats, you will make a lot more profits in the in this bubble with altcoins than with Bitcoin, um, uh, because even shit coins will go up more than Bitcoin. But it will take until the old all-time high of thousand two hundred dollars is breached. Until then, uh, you will uh, really not uh, uh, be partying. But after that, very likely, Bitcoins will uh, flow into altcoins as Bitcoin investors are starting to diversify and get a, a fear of heights. Uh, they will uh, check out altcoin markets and um, then uh, likely um, all altcoins will go up. But those that have have succeeded in getting the attention of Bitcoin investors over the past two years will likely get most of the spoils and I think NXT is well positioned there but some others too like Ethereum um, and uh, probably also Dash and uh, Monero um, and but all altcoins will go up a lot even totally idiot concepts uh, that have no future will soar eh? uh, the chance is high as was in the last bubble things like feather coin and uh, all kind of coins that like have or like have zero fundamentals eh? uh, but they also went up a lot so basically you can just buy anything um but it's gonna be it's very hard to do so because bitcoin is going up and all altcoins are going down so um but um i think um uh, there is still a small chance that this bitcoin bubble turns out to be uh, a fake uh, and uh, and um and the price goes down again and we get a new low in half a year or in one year time of a hundred dollars or fifty dollars but the chance is low the chance right now is much higher that the the next bubble has started and that within only a week uh, we will see uh, a fight for the old all-time high around thousand two hundred dollars and um, uh, week two weeks after we are at two three thousand dollars so it can really like go totally insane uh, and the chance is pretty high right now um, so right now you have to uh, if it's not a time to buy Bitcoin you should have done that when it was um, uh, collapsing to $260 um, uh, right now it's um, a time to buy altcoins that are still collapsing um, uh, 
because if you start buying bitcoins now you have a, okay you have a good chance that it will go up a lot so you said it's all about asset allocation how much percentage do you have in bitcoin you have a zero in bitcoin right now you should really buy it quickly because that's um well you stand a high chance to miss out on a great great profit maker over just a, mo a few months time or a few weeks but um yeah, the risk reward ratio for Bitcoin is not as good now at $500 than it was at $250. Yeah. Um, uh, there is a chance, although small, that if you buy now that you will sit on a 50% loss within a week time. And that's possible. So um, what I'm doing is spending a little bit of Bitcoins to buy certain stuff that I will need anyway uh, over the coming half year. Um, uh, but that's a uh, very very small uh, like uh, what I'm mostly doing is, 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 is just sitting on my coins and I will wait till it has ten folded so till, till it has uh, uh, clearly a new all time high above thousand two hundred dollars so three four thousand dollars only then I will start selling but selling really really hard uh, at that point, my altcoin, uh, my Bitcoin position will likely be 60-70% of my portfolio and I will just cut it down dramatically to uh, not a major exposure but a minor exposure, so not 60-70 but 20-30-10 eh? uh, because at that point the risk-reward ratio long term is still good but short term is very bad then eh? because you are clearly in a new bubble and uh, you will very likely be able to buy cheaper in the future after the bubble collapses. So, um, but right now it's not a time to sell Bitcoin. Um, certainly not. Um, Alia. Uh, yeah. Um, but yeah, the opportunity right now is in, in altcoins, uh, NXT especially, I think. Um, uh, Price-wise, it's been... Um, it has not stand out uh, in the altcoins uh, market. Um, it has dropped in uh, in in ranking. Uh, it used to be third, fourth place a year ago. Now it's uh, around tenth place. But um, yeah, some of the coins that are higher ranked uh, have actually not succeeded in getting mined share such as Stellar or Ripple or Dogecoin, um, uh, all coins that are higher in ranking but um, and peer coin but have not really succeeded in like like if you look at the altcoin section Bitcoin talk it's not like you have a huge fan base there no so something else is going on there um, um, uh, yeah, uh, but something like Monero um, and Dash, they do have a fan base, uh, so those can certainly soar. Um, um, NXT2, uh, Ethereum2, um, yeah, uh, but uh, yeah, for NXT, um, that's what I'm asking myself will I invest more in NXT or invest? maybe in some other altcoins, Clumps has been doing terrible. It's been collapsing so hard, uh, divided by five in Bitcoin value, but in fiat, eh, not just just low from about half a dollar per coin, uh, or $80 now and 60 euro cents per coin, but um, in, 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 uh, in Satoshi's it, has, it was around five, and now it's just like one. Eh? Um, so, um, but yeah, the problem, uh, Clams is nice, it is the only other altcoin I've invested in, uh, but uh, I'm disappointed, uh, I mean, you see what happens there, eh? you, when, when, when you say, um, uh, oh, a fair coin, eh? they did a very wide distribution uh, to all Bitcoin, Litecoin and Dogecoin addresses that had coins on it in somewhere March 2014. They all got five clams eh? and so um, a total of about 14 million clams and um, 
what happens is that the moment the price goes up, some guy uh, finds 100,000 clams and boom, he dumps it on the market, the market crashes. If you think NXT is bad, uh, well, take a look at clams. Um, see, uh, in NXT, okay, some whales have continued to dump, but that's uh, a limited amount there. Um, um, they, when they are finished dumping, it's over and out for them. But with clumps, you have an like amount of coins is gonna tenfold uh, the amount of coins in circulation, eh? and then you have also inflation via staking, via forging, also like doubling the amount of clumps in circulation every year, or like at least at this point. So the amount of new coins coming on the market is enormous, and the price really suffers from that. So there you have your fair distribution. Um, so uh, that's really not working. Um, I really think um, uh, it's working, but it's very painful for uh, the investors uh, who lose a lot of money and uh, who gets the spoils. That's those that had an, a lot of uh, Bitcoin or Litecoin or Dogecoin addresses. Uh, I mean, yeah. With NXT, uh, some people like to blame whales that sell their NXT stash, but at least they earned their stash. They made a great investment uh, at the time, um, and um, they they took the, the the risk, you know. So, um, but with clams, that's not the case. It's just that's just being lucky, basically, because. Basically, those that uh, have like a, a tons of, of addresses, uh, mostly because probably because they had some kind of Bitcoin, Litecoin, or Dogecoin services, uh, they end up getting tons of clamps, but they never like invested anything in clamps. Eh? Um, so, and that's why they dump, of course, uh, enormously. Eh? Uh, so, yeah, they don't care also about clamps. So that's why they dump really hard. Like with NXT, that's not happening. Whales that are dumping, they, you can see that they also care about the price. They don't want to dump. So they dump quite slowly. Um, so, mm, but uh, yeah, this is a, tr a major, major, uh, right now, uh, a major, um, a major um, win for Bitcoin. Um, that uh, is going up uh, in price uh, um, yeah and uh, I hope uh, you all uh, prepare uh, for uh, the altcoin market uh, to explode uh, and to uh, spend your bitcoins uh, once uh, it goes up a lot um, so yeah good luck bye